Hey folks, welcome to Build Fly Go. So we just got finished installing the oh, cabin heat air boxes over here. So this takes um, heat from the exhaust muffs, not from the exhaust, from the muffs around the exhaust that uh, take uh, not exhaust air, but clean air in. Um, and there's a few different options, a few different ways of doing this. Uh, so we actually upgraded to the uh, we made the choice to use stainless um, heat boxes instead of aluminum heat boxes. Um, the stock ones are aluminum. Personally, I like everything that's firewall forward to be, um, well, not aluminum steel or stainless steel, uh, mostly because um, aluminum, uh, the melting point of aluminum is lower than that of a um, out of gas fire. So <laughs> I figured uh, stainless uh, in case of an emergency is going to last a little longer. So the other thing that we we chose to do here that was not stock was we're using these actuators from TCW Tech uh, instead of the push pull knobs. Um, we thought these were really nice. It's a really nice setup and uh, it uses these servos and they send you this little control head that you'll put a knob on and put on the panel and you can just set how much to open and it'll open and close it. Um, it if you're familiar with uh, PCW control for servos, um, it's not just an on off, right? This is, the, it actually sets the location. So right now I'm all the way open. Um, if I go halfway, it'll just do a little bit. That wasn't quite halfway. You know, it'll just do a little bit and vice versa. So I really liked these. Um, so we decided to go with these. Uh, full disclosure as usual, um, I did, uh, place an order from TCW Tech, and I reached out to them and asked them if uh, they wanted to do a discount, and I'd do a quick video like this, just showing you what we did that was different. Um, and they, you know, were happy to do that. So thanks, TCW Tech. Um, you'll notice that we did the same thing for the, for both sides, of course, so there'll be two knobs. Uh, one is for the front heat, and the other one is for the rear heat. I don't know which is which. <laughs> um, and also, this is the the oil cooler goes over here. So we live in Wisconsin, as you're aware, and uh, the our flying temperatures go from anywhere from minus 20, <laughs> um, if we're feeling adventurous, um, all the way to, you know, 90 degrees, 100 degrees out on the ground. So the temperature is very different. Uh, depending on which part of the year we're in for what, you know, what the air outside air is going to be. So having a baffle that changes how much cooling air is going to the oil cooler um, is really handy up here. So we did the same thing. It's going to be just the same setup. Uh, you get one of these with each servo. Um, yeah, so this is installed. The install was actually really easy. We just followed the plans and they said, you know, sort of mark this area and then test it and see if it fits. Uh, run it back and forth. We just have this plugged into 12 volts, um, an old PC power supply. Um, uh, test that it fits and then, you know, mark it, drill the holes, and you're good. So, pretty simple. I thought this was going to be more of a hassle. It actually worked okay. Okay, that was it. Just a quick uh, video showing progress we're making, firewall forward, and the, the actuators that we liked. All right, we'll see you all soon.